Tuberculosis, or TB, is a disease that can e easily be transmitted from person to person by airborne germs. When a person that is infected talks, sneezes, or coughs, they can easily throw thousands of tuberculosis germs into the air around them, and if you were to breathe in any of those germs, you can easily be infected. Although half the people infected rarely have symptoms, tuberculosis is still a very dangerous and life-threatening disease. TB traveled all throughout Europe and Asia throughout the centuries. It decimated villages and killed thousands of people while it moved throughout the world. The people of the, the ancient and classical era had very little treatments for the disease, and oftentimes the methods of treatments were very crude and ineffective. Sometimes these, meth these methods of treatment often endangered the lives of patients further. Symptoms of tuberculosis include, but are not limited to, cough, sometimes with mucus or blood, chills, fatigue, fever, loss of weight, loss of appetite, and night sweats. TB started in Eastern Africa, but soon, through the help of trade, moved around the world. Like most illnesses and diseases, the influenza virus spread through tiny water droplets, usually caused by coughing and sneezing. The symptoms of influenza include Fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, congestion, runny nose, headaches, and fatigue. From the 1500s throughout the 1800s, influenza threatened humanity. Many historians agree that the 15th century marks the recognition of the pandemic influenza. Eighteen years before the first swine influenza sighting, Christopher Columbus had found the New World, and many settlers were migrating from Europe to America. While also importing African slaves, it contributed to the spread of the disease. However, some historians assume the origin was in Spain because of the known catastrophe, the Spanish flu, and evidence contradicting with each other, but it is assumed as a different branch of the swine flu. Although again in 1918 to 1919, the influenza reports began to pop up, and there was yet again no cure. The disease mysteriously vanished in 1919 and had left more than 20 million dead. No one can pinpoint its exact origin because of so many variations of the disease, but it is known to have taken its origin in Europe. The bubonic plague was introduced in, into Europe in October of 1347. From Italy, the disease spread northwest across Europe, striking France, Spain, Portugal, and England. By June of 1348, it turned and spread east through Germany and Scandinavia. It was introduced in Norway in 1349 by ship, then spread to Iceland. The symptoms include appearance of bumps in the groin, neck, and armpits. The bumps oozed pus and blood when opened. The plague in infected rodents such as rats, squirrels, and prairie dogs. Fleas transmitted the, z the pathogen from one rodent to the other. It seriously disturbed e economics and societies throughout much of Europe. It caused China to have labor shortages. The plague caused the skin and flesh to die and turn black. When the rat flea infects a non-infected host, it creates a wound on the host and regurgitates the disease into the wound and infects the host. Cholera was another deadly disease that devastated the world. It impacted all, almost all of the ancient cities because the disease was uh, spread through water. And back then, populations were just starting to grow and there were tons of new people uh, heading to not only rural areas but also wealthy cities. And the bacteria that they uh, had spread throughout the world and cholera uh, spread through waterways and it started to give people the symptoms of uh, heavy diarrhea and also of uh, extreme dehydration until death hit them and the reason it spread so quickly was because people everywhere was in need of drinking water only to know that this water was actually infected so at the end of the day, cholera uh, killed many, many thousands of people over a series of six outbreaks throughout history and remains one of the disastrous diseases that impacted our history today. Typhoid fever originated in the Spartan army in the Golden Age of Pericles. 
At the time, it killed about a third of ancient Greece's population at its peak, including Pericles himself. This greatly weakened the military, economy, and trade relations with other countries. Symptoms of typhoid fever include fevers that can reach up to 104 degrees, sweating, muscle fatigue, bloating, vomiting, and small rashes. Typhoid fever spreads by eating or drinking something that has been infected by someone shedding salmonella typhi, which is the virus that causes typhoid fever. Preventions for typhoid fever include keeping good hygiene, avoiding unsanitary water and raw foods, and getting rec regular vaccines. However, at the time, in the Spartan army in Greece, there were no preventions for typhoid fever, and the reasons were unknown. The bacteria is also able to affect areas that have been affected by natural disasters, such as earthquakes in Greece, and from Greece it spread to Europe and then to the United States in the 19th century. Smallpox is an extremely virulent disease that decimated populations, including the Chinese, Aztec, and Roman Republic populations. It made them a third of what they used to be. They, smallpox has no existing cure, and it was spread so fast because there was the perfect storm. The, the Silk Road had merchants that had smallpox, but since the symptoms don't show up until two weeks after you've had it, the incubation period is two weeks, then these merchants are going around coughing on goods and, and sleeping with people, and they're spreading the disease like wildfire. And as the Silk Road goes along, it goes from country to country, and it just, it was the perfect storm for the spread of a terribly virulent and deadly disease.